In our latest board monitor, we have observed that you know, there is an increased uh, female representation on boards. Them having sat on boards of various companies, it will be great to hear from you um, how you actually see and observe some of the challenges that the boards face when it comes to the topic of diversity. Over the last decade or so, the topic of DNI becoming ever more so relevant, uh, frequent, and increasing in terms of the topic and the conversations that uh, we're having at board level. Uh, having said that, I think that DNI is certainly not just a board matter in the same way as DNI is not just a woman or a man's matter. And so the question is really how do organizations uh, take this uh, important uh, value system and how do they embed it in every practice, uh, organizationally speaking. Um, so from experience, I've seen organizations being particularly successful when DNI is embedded systemically into the organization. So that means taking the topic of DNI and transposing it to different elements of the organization, different committees, different levels, uh, different departments. It certainly cannot be uniquely a problem of a particular group of people, typically the HR department. Um, I think it's also important to uh, recognize that a broader set of representation uh, needs to seep into um, how decision making happen. And uh, for example, I've seen organizations being particularly successful at bringing um, representation of customer sets uh, in certain product development practices. So for example, if you're developing a service of a product for young mothers, it might actually uh, end up being a better product and more relevant product by having uh, those individuals represented in the product setup and the product design. So systemic is very important. Um, DNI needs to be part of the strategy. It needs to be part of the KPIs. How do you measure the progress that you're making across different initiatives and different levels of the organization? If you can measure it, certainly you cannot improve it. Um, and I think also the other observation is that DNI is, is becoming much more relevant when it is implemented authentically. So guess what? If you are a board that um, talks a lot about DNI, but its composition is uh, middle-aged white men, well, it's probably a bit hard to believe that that set of people actually truly believe in DNI. So walking the talking, practicing what you preach is very, very important from the top to the bottom. And the other element in terms of bringing it into practice is that I think it has to be connecting to a degree of personal change. You know, organizations don't change in a vacuum. Organizations are made out of people. And so if we want organizations to change in a meaningful way, we need to expect, we need to encourage, we need to endorse, we need to support people within organizations that are trying to take that road. And so businesses have been particularly successful, have been notoriously very good at recognizing you know, the whole of people. And so the fact that people come into work as mothers, as fathers, as partners, not just with a particular job title. So I think also looking at personal development and personal growth is critical for the success of uh, uh, DNI. Sam, a lot of good points that you made. I would like to chime in on the fact that part about ingraining it into the culture uh, of the organization, I think it's absolutely important. Um, it's always easy to go track numbers against the diversity targets. Um, it's easy to go and recruit diverse talent and bring them in. But if you do not have an inclusive mindset as part of the culture of the organization, it will be actually very challenging in terms of retention. Another thing I've observed as well is that females tend to like to look for role models. So to your point, if the boardroom is full of undiverse representation, the challenge for women walking in is, do I really believe that you care for diversity when you have a board representation like this? Mm -hmm.